If you have a new dog, or if you're planning to get one, there are several things you'll need to think about. Michelle has a new puppy called Cindy, and they're getting to know each other very well. Come on, Cindy. Come on, Cindy. Every puppy should have a bed to call its own. The bed can be a basket with cut-down blankets or an old cardboard or wooden box. When you pick up your puppy, hold it as carefully as you'd hold a baby. Support the puppy's body with your arms and keep its legs together. Then feeding. Give it water and milk. And also cereals or dried foods. And, of course, meat. Fresh, cooked or canned. Michelle is giving Cindy some cooked chicken necks, Cindy's favourite food, together with some calcium powder for strong bones and teeth. Now Michelle is going to bath Cindy with a little help from Mum. Cindy has a bath about once every two weeks. If you want to give your puppy regular baths, start when it's young. Use shallow, lukewarm water and ordinary soap or dog shampoo. And always bath your dog in a warm place. Some attractive dogs have never had a bath in their lives. Other dogs are plunged into the bath every time the owner detects the slightest whiff of doggy smell. But all dogs need at least an occasional bath, and you'll need to work out with your puppy just how often that will be. After washing the puppy thoroughly, make sure that you rinse all the soap off. And then it's time to dry the puppy. This should be done thoroughly with an old but clean towel. And when drying the puppy, be sure to keep it warm. And don't forget to give it a chance to shake itself dry after you finish with it. And then comes brushing. Use a brush with long, stiff bristles for a long-haired dog and short, stiff bristles for a short-haired dog. And always brush in the direction the hair grows, from head to tail. After playing with your puppy and before you eat, wash your hands thoroughly. This is necessary because even clean dogs can sometimes pass on diseases to people. Get to know your puppy well. It needs a friend.